Hey guys, this is Eric with Mediavine, and this is our Go for Teal video series. And this week I want to talk to you about a new ad standard coming out called Sellers.json uh, and the supply chain object that accompanies it. Uh, so what is Sellers.json? So this is a similar initiative to what Ads.text was uh, a couple of years back. So Ads.text, if you remember, is used to basically say, as a publisher, these are the different sellers that are authorized to sell my inventory. So Sellers.json is almost the other side of that token. So now, these are for the sellers or the intermediaries involved in anything involved in an ad sale, anyone who collects payment. They can now say, these are the publishers or these are the sellers um, that I represent. So it's kind of the uh, other side of the coin. Um, they're both still used for kind of the same purpose. And this is for a buyer to be able to trace uh, where they should be able to buy ad inventory through. This just gives them a larger piece of the puzzle. And that's all due to the supply chain object. Uh, so behind every ad transaction, there's something called OpenRTB, and that's basically the protocol of how an exchange talks to the demand side partners or the DSPs. Um, and so basically what you end up happening is they send a, a request right now, uh, and they're going to add something called the supply chain object to that OpenRTB uh, request. And it's going to describe all the nodes in the transaction, uh, the nodes just being people involved in the transaction. So if you're a publisher with Mediavine, uh, and you're listing your ad inventory for sale, and let's say we're selling it through Pubmatic, and that's where the buyer buys it, there's only going to be three nodes, right? There's going to be uh, Pubmatic, Mediavine, and then you, the publisher, at the end. Um, but let's say we add a reseller into the mix, which commonly happens uh, in this industry. And then you might have Pubmatic, then the reseller, then the Mediavine, uh, and then the publisher. With ads.txt, you would list that reseller already, and they would know that's a valid place, but they never knew before that Mediavine was involved in that transaction. So what this is doing is showing everyone involved in the transaction. That's the whole idea behind the supply chain. And then using these nodes, they can look up on the sellers.json to make sure this was a valid seller or party involved in the intermediary. Uh, if they detect that there's any kind of fraud or anything going on, they can always now block one person through that supply chain and stop those kind of transactions from happening. Um, so it can be used to, to help fight ad fraud. Uh, so what does this mean for you as a publisher at Mediavine? Um, so we fully support sellers.json and the supply chain object. Anything to help improve transparency and fight fraud is a good thing in our opinion. Um, but there are some caveats to this uh, as a, a small publisher. So the sellers.json file is going to be publicly accessible. Uh, and as you remember, we kept talking about payees or uh, people involved in the actual payment transaction. Uh, so what we're going to need to be the list here is not your website. Uh, but the actual person receiving the payment. So that might be you as an individual or your corporation you have set up that owns your website. This is now going to be public information through the sellers.json file. Uh, it's not necessarily going to be associated with your website, but with a unique ID here at Mediavine. Uh, but someone will be able to see now that you personally are a member of Mediavine by looking up this file. Uh, so what we're doing here at Mediavine is you're going to start getting a modal the next time or a pop-up the next time you log into your Mediavine dashboard, just basically asking you to confirm uh, what your public facing profile name is. If you don't like it, um, this is your chance to change it to make sure you're okay with it. There is an is confidential field in the sellers.json file, but unfortunately we can't have you use that because we've gotten confirmation from the buyers. They will not transact on inventory that's listed as is confidential. Uh, so unfortunately this does come with that caveat that we need to be a little more transparent and who is receiving the check at the end of the day. Uh, so sellers.json, we do all the heavy lifting here. We're gonna handle the supply chain object, we're going to handle the listing of the actual sellers.json file at Mediavine. All you need to do is basically confirm your payment name. Uh, so that probably should have led with that. Um, but if you're listening that long, uh, that's going to be your action item. And that should be happening this week. So thank you guys for listening. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys soon.